Hey folks, Carolyn here. Uh, I'm joined today by Carl Roloffs, uh, Design Director at uh, Zojoy. And we're here to actually to, today to talk about a game that um, I'm really excited about because it's a revival of uh, an adventure game that I have uh, very, very fond memories of, uh, Shadowgate. Why don't you talk a little bit about like the, the kind of history of Shadowgate and what it means to be bringing it back today. Great, great. Pleasure to be here. So, um, uh, this was uh, Shadowgate was a game that uh, was de designed back in the uh, 80s uh, with uh, Dave Marsh and myself. Um, I I've known Dave virtually my whole life, and um, uh, we worked together on and off uh, through our careers. And uh, we've always wanted to bring Shadowgate back. Um, Shadowgate first came out on the Mac um, in the old black and white mode, and then it went on to the various PC clones and Ataris and uh, Commodores and everything else and uh, uh, just been ported over and over and over again and um, the opportunity came uh, a, a couple years ago when uh, Double Fine did uh, their Kickstarter and they were so successful we just said to each other well why not why not do Shadowgate so uh, that kind of prompted us to uh, revisit this and uh, get Shadowgate underway again. Well, cool. Why don't you uh, start it up and, and let's take a look at at uh, the new reimagined Shadowgate. Uh. Uh, there's uh, there's three difficulties. Um, there is an apprentice mode, uh, the journeyman mode, and the master mode. Uh, we have some tutorials which you never had in Shadowgate, so hopefully that'll help people just get into the game. Um, if you remember from the Mac version way back when, you would just be dumped in front of a castle with a picture of a castle. And here we just try to give you some reason for you being there and how you got there. So this, this was an opportunity with this reimagining for us to flesh out more of the story. So, so this, uh, you know, all, all this stuff just kind of introduces Lackmere as a character in the game, which was in the original game, and, and you as a character as well. The original game, I don't think, we, we, we never had a name for the original um, uh, character. Uh, we gave him the name Jer later on, um, and uh, this is just the opportunity to just get into character and just understand kind of what's going on and who you are. So, and here we're also introducing you to the uh, the big baddie in the game. Again, we just dumped you in the game, so you had no idea who this guy was, and this just gives you an idea that there's something going on with this guy. So and now we dump you into the game. Yeah, it's a lot more like world building yes. happening here than in the original. Okay, so this is definitely reminiscent of my memory of like the very beginning of, of classic Shadowgate on the Mac in front of this this door. Right, right. So it's a um, you know it's it's a graphical adventure. So it is an adventure game. So text is important, and um, uh, you can also interact with every object um, uh, that that we allow you to. So uh, you can click on things and do various commands like uh, look, which will give you some text, kind of give you an idea of what you might be able to do with things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you can try to take things or do crazy things. So I'm trying to open up that, uh -huh. and you, you can't do that. But let me, let me try the door here. So, you know, that's locked, and it looks like there's something back there. Let me try to take that. And this guy starts talking there. So I can't really take the key until... Okay, you have to take the skull. Right, take and the key. and the skull is an important part of the game. This is York, so he introduces himself to you. He's kind of this this unknown character. You really really don't know who he is, but he's a, basically a sidekick who helps you through the game. Cool. He is our hint system. Yeah. Um, he also offers various banter throughout the game. Um, let's do something here. So um, I could go and use this Dirk on things, but if you notice, I click use Dirk, and now I got to click it the Dirk. Use it on what? Mm -hmm. So I can like use it on myself. I get a, a, a comment after pause. You rethink your suicidal thought. Yeah. We want to give you the benefit of the doubt if you do it on, on accident. Right. But I'm showing you this because uh, we, we we introduced this um, feature called quick use. Okay. So what I can do is I can bind a key to a uh, to an object, and in this case I'm going to hit Control One. Now the Dirk is is uh, bound to one. So at any time, if I hit one, it's a use Dirk on something. So I can use it on myself again, you know. 
and it's still saying, are you really sure you want to do that? Yeah. Well, I don't want to do that because I don't want to kill myself right away here. So <laughs> I'm going to use the dark on this thing right here because um, there's a helm. So uh, we can take the helm. And I can kind of look at it. I notice it's not here, but my outfit tab is glowing. This is where I put it. It's an outfit because I can wear it. So now we put the helm on him. So if you remember from the Mac, eyes, yes. the eyes going back and forth. Yes, I do. Was, was text. So this gives us the chance to have some fun and have add some drama, you know, to the game by adding some great effects. So um, uh, just a couple other things with the command stuff. So, you know, I can use myself on things, but I can also use, I can also, another quick thing is I can use double click. Uh -huh. And that's, just. you may, actually, that's totally from the Mac. So, you know, um, uh, and, and that's definitely effective. Something else you can do, you can lock a command. So now I can just go and I can look at things. I looked at the torch. There's the door. Oh, that was the key that I just must have opened up, you know, and here's um, a hatch. So... I can look at a bunch of things, kind of get an idea of what's in the room, and I can look back at things that I've done and examined, okay? okay? So um, a lot of that's familiar stuff. It's just kind of given to you in a different, in a, it just looks different. Um, so I can hit T, take a torch, but let's just, um, how about we leave the room? So double click, double click to go through. And this is the infamous trap room. Um, you know, one, uh, you know, a couple of things I really wanted to try to do was uh, uh, make sure that we have enough clues in the game. You know, you get room text here that talks about a musty breeze coming from behind the altar. Hmm, maybe there's something to that, right? And then also note, you know, the layout of the room here. People may not realize that they can go down over here, um, and you can. I want to take you to a room that you probably remember well from the Mac days and everybody else may be remembering also from NES is the, uh, I'll get there in a second. Um, let's talk about a couple things in this room. Um, so there's lots of things. So this will be different to you, but it's a similar room from the original. You just may not know it yet. I've got this thing over here. Double click on that. It's something made of ice and cold. And it's kind of, let's take it. Nope, I can't nope. take it. So okay. it must be something else. Um, uh, other things, let's do this. So I did my torch, and that's at two. So now my lit torch, so I can I can burn anything I want. Sure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's something up there. I'm going to burn that. That's a creature up there, yeah, looks like right? Giant spider. Looks kind of scary. Let me show you another feature for that that'll be different. We have a map. And, um, you know, this maps out every room you've been in. And when I examine the spider, um, notice how it came there. So um, there are various things you can examine that will actually appear on your map. And those are there to kind of give you hints um, that may help you on later puzzles, or they may not. But there are interesting things in the castle. So this may be just a reminder there's a spider there, and that may help you later in the game, or it may not. Uh -oh. So now here's the infamous dragon room. So uh, this should be very familiar to people who know the game. And if not, then, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool, fun thing anyway. So um, I kind of know what to do here. So I'm immediately going to equip this iron shield. Yep. And if you remember from the, ver you know, we had this long line of flame that came out at you. And if you had the shield, then you were good to go. Um, and uh, this is one that's kind of similar to um, all the original games. So I'm going to lock, um, actually I want to lock take. Then I'm going to take a bunch of things because there's good things in here. So the shield's holding up nicely. Let's take this thing because it looks good. Huh. See that, that looked kind of interesting, didn't it? Let's go look at that. So there's a guy with glasses. Huh. So... So I pried off the dirt, but I'm in this room with this dragon, so he's still responding every turn and still trying to kill me. So even though I'm doing something else, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, yeah. he's, he's continuing on. And the shield is beginning to melt. Um, so 
So the shield is completely destroyed now. So. But you know, I, I don't I don't get it, so I'm going to just <laughs> take off my helm. You can see my John Lennon glasses on me over there. Yeah. So you can see that. So I tuck it off and he's still <laughs> gonna blow fire on me. <laughs> so, you know, Shadowgate yeah, death is death is a frequent part of the Shadowgate experience. It is as I recall. Yes, we actually relish, you know, uh, killing the player yeah. in most any way we can. So So this is the mirror room. You may remember this. I do. Um, it, it, it probably has more mirrors. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> than, than, than than you remember. So, I can uh, you know, there's some interesting but, stuff going on here because things are enchanted. That one isn't. So, okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, York just makes <laughs> some, you know, interesting quips now and then. Yeah. But really, what I, what, I, what I want to do in this room is show you something. I've already quick bound um, for quick use my hammer. And um, I'm going to... Oh, no. Oh, oh, you've unlocked hidden death mode. I didn't expect that. Okay. okay. So, we've, we've added special deaths to Shadowgate. Stuff you can find that you don't have to do. Okay. Uh, but it just fun the fine, and um, we'll give you achievements for stuff like this. So it encourages you to just like experiment with the environment and try just try different things, like poke and poke and prod things and see what happens. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's 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 not a winning strategy. Just try everything on anything, right. but it's fun sometimes it, because you get weird responses and funny stuff like this. Yeah. Ha. No, that's pretty. That's pretty great. For those that may remember, the NES game. Oh, yeah. The music was is very memorable from the NES game. Yes, yes. So that's what we added okay. here. Let me show you, um, so you can play the game in uh, in in retro mode. And I want to show you this particular room just because it looks fun. Um, how we're replicating the 8-bit feel. Oh yeah, <laughs> with the flame there. And this people will will recognize the quill. So. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a mode that we're working on where we're still adding a couple things, so that'll be a surprise for players. Okay. Um, but at any time, I can sit there and, if I really wish, to hear the music, um, I can turn off the graphics. Okay. Um, but actually, I'm just going to go back and turn that on. And we're going to... So we got the rickety bridge here. I don't know if you remember the rickety bridge. It probably never moved yeah. like this. So that's not a good thing to go on a rickety bridge. No. You need some help some way. Um, and then... Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. That's classic image right there. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's that gives you a taste of everything that we kind of added here. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're finishing beta, and we should be uh, releasing, um, you know, sometime in August. Okay, and, and on what, uh, how will people be able to access the game, and what platforms okay so we we are um, releasing on Steam first uh, the PC and the Mac versions of this game um, and the Mac won't be black and white okay. so just, <laughs> just 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 if you're wondering um, uh, and then uh, after that we're gonna go to the tablets we're gonna do Android tablets and uh, the iPads um, and then after that who knows where we're gonna go well uh, Carl th thank you so much for coming in today and giving us a look at Shadowgate it has been my pleasure thank you for having me